Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before I knew what is going on, guys? I go poker here with another video for you today. And today we're gonna be playing some more of the Half Past Fate series. Now, if you guys don't know, this is episode 9. I have a whole playlist dedicated to the Half Past Fate series now. So, if you want to go ahead and binge the entire series before you watch this episode, go ahead and do that. It's a public playlist right here on my channel. Also, if you guys didn't know, I stream on Twitch every now and then. It's, uh, it's kind of a little hobby. <laughs> I stream Splatoon, Animal Crossing, Stardew, Final Fantasy series. You know, whatever, uh, whatever I'm feeling to do. Uh, feeling. Whatever I feel like doing that uh, that day. So, yeah. Make sure to hit that link in the description and go follow me over on Twitch. And uh, subscribe here on YouTube. Like, comment, all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's get in into the video. Fuck. Alright, let's get right into it. Two hours ago. Fucking hell, man. Oh, God. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Why is the volume all the way down? Spark. Okay. Spark. 6.15. I'm a bit late, but I made a reservation. It looks crowded tonight. My date is probably one of the women already here sitting alone. I'm just now realizing I have no idea what my date looks like. This might be tough. Wait a minute. Is that Mara? Oh no. What are the chances we'd end up at the same restaurant on the same night? I can't deal with her seeing me right now. After we already made the board decision to reject her company. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh that's gonna throw a wrench in so many things. Okay, wait, is that B? Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. Here, look. Oh, shit, <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong button. Look, look, look at this person right here. Is that B? I know B has like longer hair, but what if she like put it? I don't know. Oh god. Alright. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a reservation with us tonight? Uh, yes. Under Shah, 6 p.m. for two people. Excellent. If you would follow me, please. Oh my God. Actually, I have a seating request. Would it be possible for me to be seated away from the lady in the red over there? Oh, I get it. How about over here? Oh, okay, okay. Oh man, here you are. Thank you. So bad breakup. Excuse me. Your ex, I mean the girl in the red, I saw you gawking as soon as you entered the restaurant. Seems like you're not on talking terms. Oh, she's uh, well, that bad, huh? Uh, yeah, to totally, very bad breakup. And I'm seeing someone else tonight, so, y you know. Say no more? I totally understand. When I dumped my ex, he would avoid me every time we saw each other too. It was so awkward. Right. Wait, what? No, it's more like... Well, your waiter will be with you soon. I hope your new date goes well. Okay, cool. Well, I should look around for my date. I can't just sit down and order. I need to look for my date. I was late and she'd be somewhere else in the restaurant. Okay. He looks really nervous. Maybe he's waiting for someone. He looks like you're waiting for someone. The date? Lost father. Oh, I'm too old to play the field, I'm afraid. I'm actually meeting my son. Ooh. Oh, that's my father's son night out? Not exactly, no. It's more of a reuniting. Oh, what does your son look like? Maybe I can help you find him. That's so kind of you. He's the cutest boy. I'll always carry a photo of him in my wallet. You have a more recent photo of him? Uh, no, I don't. Just how long has it been since you've seen him? It's been a long time, ever since the divorce. The whole court process was rigged from the start. I never even got a chance for custody, despite her being... Ugh. I'm sorry, she was just the worst. After the divorce, she took our son and moved out of the country. I never saw him again. Damn, that's harsh. It's not as bad as knowing what that woman was to put him through. Fuck. There was a reason I left. That woman was just the worst. Every time I did anything to upset her, she just... I'm sorry, I guess I'm still not over it. 
I'm so sorry to hear that. It doesn't matter now. My boy is finally coming home. Anyway, please don't lose that photo. It's all I have left of him. Okay. So he had blue hair. You! <laughs> Immediately. Okay. Seems like he's waiting for someone. Hey man, you on a blind date too? Uh, are you kidding me right now? Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Didn't mean it that way. Oh, chill out, I'm not actually blind. <laughs> Why are you wearing sunglasses indoors at night? Why are you asking me stupid questions, old man? You know, just socializing. Good for you. I wear them so I can see the light that's right before my eyes. Now, would you leave me alone already? Yeesh, sorry. I think I'm about the glasses. About those glasses. I wear them so I can keep track of the visions in my eyes. Now, can you leave me alone? Yeesh. Still late. Okay, so it's kind of none of your business. You look like you could use a drink, man. Yeah, a strong one. Uh, t your dad's here. I think I know who your dad is. What? I mean, I think your dad is in the back. If you come with me, I can show you. Look, mister, you're really charming and all, but I already have a boyfriend. Uh, no. What? That's not what I meant. <laughs> if I show you the picture? Hey, could you look at... Dude, get away from me. You won't even look at the photo. Maybe if I could loosen him up a bit first. Alright, well, he wants a strong drink. Let me go ahead and look at... What can I get you? Let me see. Whiskey, beer, wine. I think whiskey is the strongest thing. On the rocks, class choice, sir. Oh, no, it's not for me. I don't drink. Sir, gentlemen, off to the side. Ah, I see. Wait, no, no. I think you're mistaken. I'm not... Hey, I'm not judging. We all have our own preferences. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> God damn it. What? what? Yeah, obviously. In fact, I think it's great. We should all be free to love those who catch our hearts. We live in such a great time right now. Right? Equality, boy. Back when I was a kid, this would never be allowed. And now look at this. The young love in the making. Look, can I just get the drink? Here you go. Good luck. Thanks. Here, I got you a drink. Apparently you have. That's definitely strong. Thanks. So who are you waiting for? My dad. Your dad, huh? Thanks for the drink. And all, but can you just leave me alone? Alright. Hey, uh, you again. What do you want? Okay, I'll make this fast. Does this look familiar? Wait, how did you get this? That's you, isn't it? Yeah, that's my baby picture. I thought you were a creepy earlier, but this... You're not my dad, are you? You're way too young. No, no, I'm not your dad. But I know him. Well, where is he? Here, follow me. I can show you where he is. Come on. Here you go. Dad? Zachary? Zachary! Oh, welcome home, son. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm so emotional. Please have a seat. Alright, let me look at you. You've changed so much. Why are you wearing sunglasses inside at night, anyway? Oh, uh, have it, I guess. Yep, it, that's my boy, alright. Thank you so much for bringing us together, mister. Anytime, dude. Yeah, man. And you're right, these sunglasses are stupid. I can't really see my dad in the restaurant. I'm not gonna wear these anymore. Here, you can have them. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot. Here's your photo back. Thanks again, young man. Fuck, I skipped over that. And thanks for the drink. Nice, now I can get closer tomorrow without her recognizing me. Hopefully my day is at one of the tables. Oh, cool. I didn't even... No, that, that, that I needed that. Okay. What about you, sir? He's looking pretty uncomfortable just sitting at the bar. Maybe I can give him some pointers. Who am I kidding? I don't even know what I'm doing either. <laughs> hey there, how are you doing? Oh, hello. Top of the morning to you. Yeah, same to you, except it's 621 at night. Ah, well, I screwed this up already. I'm sorry. I just don't really know what I'm doing. Hey, don't worry about it. It's okay. Nerves, am I right? This is all really new to me. I usually don't come out at night. Wallflower? No wonder. I just want to go out, meet people, and like to do in movies and games, you know? Just go out to a bar, meet people, talk about philosophy, or discuss art. Someone that I can debate T.S. Eliot with, or enjoy Monet with. We're just talking right now, aren't we? I, for one, love Impressionism. Bridge over a pond of water. Lily's is my favorite personal Monet piece. Yeah, but like, I meant more. With a girl. 
Why can't I break the ice and have an intellectual conversation with a girl? Maybe it's only something that happens to, pro pro uh, to protagonists. Ah, don't be such a nice guy about it, dude. You'll be fine. Well, I know the pro protagonist wouldn't get the girl by standing at the bar. The protagonist also shouldn't avoid someone out of embarrassment, but here I am. I'm sure you went over and introduced yourself. You find uh, plenty of amazing women around. You're right. I'll give it a go. Hi there. Top of the evening, too. I'm married. Not interested. Go away. <laughs> I think I'm just going to finish my drink and go home. Well, cheer up, man. I'm sure you'll find someone eventually. And maybe reconsider the fedora. Yeah, definitely. Hello, are you... I'm married. My son is probably older than you. <laughs> Move along. Yeesh, already then. I know she is in my day. I should just leave her alone. Yeah. What about you? I wonder if she's my day. Hello, are you here for a blind date? No, I'm afraid you have the wrong person. Today is my self-care night. Oh, you have a good day. <laughs> I hope you find who you're looking for. Yeah, me too. Me too. Crowd a group of friends. Girls not the house, I'm guessing. Probably. And then these people are on the date. First date, both super nervous. Although, it seems like the guy is pretty much doing all the talking while the girl just smiles and nods. Regardless, they're both really enjoying their time together though. That's a good thing. This lovely old couple is talking about moving to somewhere warm to, uh, warm to retire. Also something about buying five acres of land so they could avoid <laughs> neighbors. <laughs> Sounds good actually, really. They're having an intense conversation about the blockchain technology. Sounds like they're working on a film, something about a drug addict who's hallucinating about that he has a girlfriend. Yeesh, Jesus Christ. Sounds cool though. A family gathering. Sounds like they're planning for a wedding. That's cool. Sunglasses are good, but I probably need something else if I'm going to be like this tomorrow. Maybe something to cover my hair. I need the fedora. Any luck meeting more people? No, I'm about to finish my drink actually. I think I'm probably going to head out soon. Oh, alright, I'll see you around. She must be my, be my date. Keep it cool, Rinden. What? Um, hello? Oh, hey. There you are. It's finally good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Hope you haven't been waiting for too long. No worries, I always thought you weren't going to show up today. Um, did you want to take off your sunglasses? Uh, yeah, no, I have um, that condition where you have to wear sunglasses all the time. Right, okay, well, let's get started, shall we? Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't start off with a lie, man. Don't, don't do that. Please, <laughs> don't do that at all. Yeah, sure. Would you like to order a drink? Oh, no, thanks. I've already found it hard to focus. <laughs> I've always found it hard to focus when I drink. Of course, I understand. I don't actually drink myself. I see. Why did you offer me a drink then? Well, you know, that seems to be the normal thing to do, right? <laughs> you're funny. Alright, let's not waste any more time. You ready to, to discuss some art history? Um, sure, I like art. Great. That'll make this a lot easier. Anyway, let's get back to the impressionists. Bridge over a pond... Oh. <laughs> Bridge over a pond of water lilies is my personal favorite Monet piece. You're really funny, that's cute, but today we need to start from the beginning. Claude Monet was born in on 14th of November 19 1840 in Paris. He was the second son of Claude Al Ad Adolf Monet and Louise Justine Aubrey Monet. Do you know what career his father forced him into as a child? Am I supposed to know this off the top of my head? Uh, yeah. Ship Chander? I don't know. Bingo. Well done. Okay. I didn't really know that. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> well, it looks like someone's been studying. His dad wanted him to become a ship chandler. So, someone who deals and sells ship supplies like sailcloth, resin, and linseed oils. But thankfully, his mom was a huge support for him to eventually embark on his art career. That's pretty cool, I guess. But, um, if you don't mind me asking. Wait. Did you just text me? No? Hold on, who even are you? I'm Rinden. I'm your date? Right? Date? Oh dear, there must be some kind of mistake. I was supposed to meet an art student from an online course in his first tutoring session. 
Wait, so you're an art teacher? Yeah, and I'm guessing you're not an art student. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm supposed to meet someone here for a blind day. Well, my student just told me he couldn't make it, so I spent all the time preparing all this lecture material for nothing. It comes with a job for being a tutor, I guess. It was fun chatting with you about Monday, though. Hope you find your date. It was great chatting with you, too. Thanks. She seems disappointed. Maybe I could find someone here to chat with. Well, Lottie fucking dog. <laughs> this guy. And she just the teacher. Actually, I met someone who I think you'd like to meet. Really? She's an art history teacher who apparently got stood up by her student during a tutoring session. I bet you two would have a lot in common. That sounds wonderful. Where is she? Come with me. I'll introduce you. And uh, please take off your hat. My hat? But isn't it a conversation starter? No. No, it is not. <laughs> yeah, but the only conversation you're starting is explaining why your head is dressed as a mobster while the rest of you isn't. Just trust me on this. Uh, okay then. Let's go. Hey again, still hanging around? Yeah, but I probably head out soon. I want to introduce you to someone real fast. Greetings, madam. <coughs> Uh, hey, what's up? Hey there. So I was just uh, chatting with my friend and his interest in art history made me think of you. Well, actually, I'm interested in a, vi a variety of stimulating topics. Believe it or not, I get tired of talking about just art. Teaching all day doesn't, uh, all day means I don't want to lecture while I'm out. So by all means, if you have a different topic, then stimulate me. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go find my date. Oh yeah, good luck, sir. Also, mind if I borrow your hat? Oh, you can have it. I bought it for like a dollar at the thrift store anyway. I don't think I'll be wearing it anymore. For sure. Hat and sunglasses. Look like the blues brother. Mara definitely won't recognize me now. At least from a moderate distance. Yeah. Cool. Uh, seems to be hitting it off. Good for him. Good for them. Just some friends enjoying dinner off together. Cool. Can I talk to you? If you think about it historically, religion has always helped me advance has always helped advance science and technology. The printing press became popular because of the Bible after all. But how would you explain the dark ages? People were literally forced out of education. I won't bother them. They seem to be in a heated yet pretentious debate. I would go one step further and argue that science and religion are essentially the same thing. They're both just different ways to explain the, how the world works, but they have totally different methods of cause and effect. How can they be the same if their virtues are so fundamentally different? Alright, oh, sorry about that. Technical difficulties real quick. I'll leave him to it. My job as a wingman is done. Yeah? What about you guys? They're celebrating their daughter getting into, their, into her dream school. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Okay, okay. What about you guys? Wait, isn't that Holland from the coffee shop? Oh damn, this is too embarrassing. What are the chances? Sounds like an awkward first day. They're talking about their favorite shampoo brands? Ouch. Okay. No way, it's Holland from the coffee shop. Okay, I need to back away slowly before she notices. Um, can I help you? But no. Hey, Holland, fun funny when into you here. Do I know you? How do you know my name? Uh, from the cafe where you work, Bellini, I'm uh, did you follow me? No, no, it's just a coincidence, I swear. Please leave before I call the cops. Yep, okay. Yeah, okay. That is Bia! That is Bia! I fucking knew it. That is Bia, without a fucking doubt. Look like they're really enjoying their day. Okay, here. Hat, sunglasses, I look like a blues brother, but that's not good enough. I need something more at this distance. What? What else would I need? Somebody left the table a fucking mess. What about you? Also sitting alone in a restaurant. Maybe she's actually the one. Probably not. Saleswoman. Oh, okay, she's the one that's trying to sell tea time. Hello. Oh, you got here early. I'm glad you can make it. No, have a seat. Nope, it's not. No. Oh, great. I finally found you. It was really funny, actually. I ended up chatting with the wrong person this whole time. Really? That's hilarious. Yeah, I know. These things are always kind of awkward. Now that I'm here, I'm looking forward to this. Great. So, would you like a drink? Oh, no, thank you. I don't actually drink. Please let me buy you a drink if you want one. You don't drink? Yeah, I never really got into it. That's a little weird, right? 
is it? I guess it is kind of weird. I don't know. Well, I guess to teach their own, uh, to each their own. Anyway, despite that, I guess we should get started. Started? Yeah. It's why we're meeting here after all. Oh no, this sounds familiar. Hold on, I think uh, there might have been. <sighs> here you go, you part of the animal. I'm sure you've read all about it in the job description. You're looking at the future of parties and fun. Introducing Tea Time. A tea infused energy drink that works with any drinks, anytime. It gives you unlimited energy to party, but at the same time, it tells everyone that I also enjoy deep conversations. Uh, when mixed with different types of liquors, the delicious clear taste of tea really brings out the smoothness and clarity of your drink. Whether you're mixing it with vodka for a fun Russian sweet tea or gin for a sophisticated bookworm, you'll be having a great conversation and hang loose with friends every time. Tea time. It's time for tea. <sighs> I'm tired of this girl. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. This is, uh, I'm not the right guy. Hey, don't be discouraged. We can start small. All you need to do is pass out some products at the bar over there. Talk to the bartender using some tea time drinks and act like you're really enjoying yourself while drinking it. Or just, I guess, just pretend you're drinking it. No, I mean, I'm literally the wrong person. I'm here for a date. Oh, honey, one of these guys again, huh? I should have known with these sunglasses and fedora. Look, but I'm just trying to do my job and make some money to make ends meet, okay? I'm not interested. Not with you, you dumb- God. No, I mean, I'm literally the wrong person. I'm here for a blind date. Alright, I'm gonna move on now. Yeah. Okay. So... I need something in order to... Still be very unrecognizable near Mara. What about you? What can I get you? Nothing for now. Unless you have a costume for me to put on. Costume? Tell me more, lady. How can I help? Oh, it's nothing. It's a really long story. Ho ho ho. Well, the night is young and we have plenty to drink. Alright, well. So there's this woman in the back of the restaurant. The one in the red dress. I'd rather not face her at the moment. Well, it definitely explains the hat and the sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Don't worry, lady. I have just a thing for you. Or not lady, laddie. Don't worry laddie, I have just a thing for you. I need to go get it from the back, but an order just came in. Could you help me take care of this order first? Sure, how can I help? You see, a customer ordered a sophisticated drink that still says I like to party. Partying is an art to me, so you know I can't I can refuse, but I'm coming up blank. If you can help me inspire a bit. If you could help inspire me a bit, find a new unexpected beginning that might satisfy the customer's request, I will be able to finish up this order and, and go pick up your thing from the back room. Sophisticated, yet still says I like to party. Let me see what I can find. Let me get the fucking tea time. You're back. Did you change mine? Nah, I'm just checking in. You guys still hasn't shown up yet. No, not yet. Can I grab one of those tea time? Kinds of tea time? Oh, sure. Here you go. It tastes great and gives you infinite energy. Yeah, I'll help spread the word of you uh, for you a bit. Thanks for the drink. No problem. Hang loose, bud. Yeah. I hope you also hang loosely. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Back to the bar we go. I like not know. Judging by its accent, he must not be from around here. Right now, this one now. Here you go, found a mixer for you to use. It's called Tea Time. It's a tea infused energy drink. Great, that should be perfect. Let me mix this up. All right, could you deliver this to the man who's sitting, uh, who was just sitting here, the one who had the fedora? I think he's right around the corner. Sure thing. Here's your drink. I need to introduce you to my friend Oscar. He's a who. Hello, I think I have a drink for you. I didn't order a drink. Oh, that must be yours. Thank you so much. I guess you decided to stay a little longer after all. Yeah, I guess so. Thanks for the introduction. Thank you, sir. Anytime. Enjoy your meal. Yeah. Oh, shit, they got food. Oh, well, she's had the food, I think, right? Alright. I delivered the drink. Thank you so much, Sonny. Now, in the spirit of giving, is this your beard? Yep. It's my old training beard. Don't tell me this guy's Santa. 
Oh, wait a minute. I know you look familiar. You're a Santa from Books Galore who gives out used books to people every Christmas. Yep, that's me. I just love the jolly time of year, giving kids presents and working with elves to make toys. But during the year, I'm a bartender. I see it as a way to give gifts to adults. Plus, it's a great way to keep tabs on people who have been naughty or nice, <laughs> I suppose. You sure I can have this son? You won't need it Some you know, come Christmas. My natural beard is finally all white this year, so I've been growing it up. Come Christmas, I'll have a real Santa beard. Well, thanks. Of course, Sonny. Thanks for the help. Hope your date goes well. Okay, I think I can sneak past Mara now. There is no way she'll recognize me like this. You look like a rabbi. Hi, Bia. This is the last girl uh, I haven't talked to in the restaurant. She has to be the one. Nope, I'm not gonna blow my cover now. Alright. Yep. Is that. There's some guy. I think my. I see my date. He has some weird costume. Anyway, I should probably go. Hello. Why am I clipping through the table? <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm good, okay. Just to make sure you're here for the blind date at 6 p.m.? Yep, you must be Rinden. I'm Bia. Finally. Finally, what do you mean? Uh, I mean, it's great to finally meet you. Sorry you had to wait so long. I was really running late tonight. Oh wait, okay, so two and a half years ago, Bia was dating Matt. That means they broke up. She's on a date now with Rinden. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, not at all. Oh good. Uh, is something wrong? Well, I can't really see your face, like, at all. It's kind of weird. Oh, right, sorry. I mean, I have, uh, I have this condition where I need to wear fedoras and Santa beards. Um, what? Okay, okay, enough about me. So, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a photographer and I love watching films. That's really cool. What's your favorite film? My favorite film is You Are What You Eat. It's a documentary about processed foods, right? Yeah, I've seen that one. It's crazy. Yeah, that's the one. You won't believe me, but the director of the film is actually one of my best friends. No way, that's really cool. Have you known each other for a long time? Yeah, eight years and six months. Eight and a half years. Oh, yep. well, someone's really been counting. His name is Mano. We're both into films, both into photography, and we have a lot in common. I'm maybe off the mark, but it sounds like you guys might be more than just friends. Have you dated before? No. Well, I definitely felt something when we first met. We had a girlfriend at the time, and then they got engaged. Then I started this game, uh, this guy named Matt before Milo broke up with his fiance. At the time, it just never worked out. I'm guessing you two never talked about it. No, and it's been so long now. We have an amazing friendship with each other. I don't really want to do anything to jeopardize it. Even now, well, there's just... Even now, while there's nobody in the picture... Wait, what? You're telling me that you two are both single right now? Yeah. And you're interested in each other? Yeah, I think so. And you're okay with leaving things as they are? Well, when you say it that way... Yeah, dude, I mean... Come on, B. <laughs> Okay, this stuff is really getting in my way. <laughs> Wait. Why are you... Oh, are you gonna be okay with your condition? What's the point of always saying your friend, Milo, if your heart... If in your heart you want to be more than friends? You two have the most amazing relationship. You two share so much with each other. Why are you lying to yourself? Why are you lying to your own heart? Yeah. Go. Go to him right now, <laughs> right this moment, and fulfill your destiny, your love that's always meant to be. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm going to go see Milo tonight. I'm going to go right now and ask him. I'm tired of waiting. That's the spirit. Thank you so much, Rinda. You're amazing. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and go see Milo. Oh, destiny. Well, I guess that's the end of my day. Time to... Rinden? Uh oh. Rinden, it is you. Over here, it's Mara. I guess I can't get out of this after all. Hi, Mara. Was that your date who just left? Yes. 
I'm so sorry. I hope it did, I didn't interrupt anything. It's fine. She had to go anyways. Who, who was that anyway? She looked like one of my sister's friends. Oh, just someone I met online. It didn't work out. She was in love with someone else. It was all she wanted to talk about. I'm happy for her though. It's just a kind. Of, it's just kind of funny for me to end up on a blind date with someone who already loves someone else. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not all bad, right? I mean, it means we get to have dinner with each other. I mean, if that's okay. I mean, if that's... Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Okay. So what brought you here anyways? Oh, I... I also had a blind date. Really? Wow, what a coincidence. What are the chances we bump into each other again today? Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> what luck am I, right? Well, I don't want to intrude if you're waiting for someone else. No, not at all. Please stay, I... Got stood up. I would really appreciate the company. You stood up? That's surprising. What do you mean by that? Just, you know, you're really... Uh, smart... And, uh... Just a good person, you know? Oh, I guess. Sometimes I wish... More than just smart. You know, maybe it was fate both of our dates would fall through. Now we don't have to eat alone because we have each other for company. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. So, about the RS investment. Oh, come on, let's not talk about that. <laughs> what? Why not? Can't we talk about, I don't know, common interest? We met at a business meeting today. It is a common interest. <laughs> yeah, but it's not really date conversation. Is this a date? I don't know. I thought we were having a good time. Are you having a good time? Yeah, I guess so. I'm having... I am having a good time. So, uh, what do you do during your free time? Oh, you know, the typical stuff. Listening to TED Talks, running SWOT analysis, doing financial productions. You don't really give yourself free time. Browsing Wikipedia. <laughs> I hardly believe that can be considered as typical stuff. I also like to read. Now we're getting somewhere. I love to read. What have you been reading recently? Meditations by Marcus Aurelius and The Shortness of Life by Seneca. Jesus! They were super good. Really puts a lot of what we do into perspective, you know? Yeah. Uh huh. Nerd. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I'm a total nerd, I know. <laughs> yeah, but in a cute way. Thanks. So, speaking of nerdiest, it's just that. I worked on that presentation for months. This proposal is really important to Nanobol, and you're right here, so I can't help but ask. Look, I know what you're thinking. You're nervous, and you want to know how to pinch with. I get it. I've been on that side of the table plenty of times. It's just, I'm really bad at this stuff. I don't know if I should be the one to tell you, that's all. Why not? I mean, I suck at keeping secrets, and I can't tell a lie to save my life. And what does that have to do with anything? I'm sorry, Mara. I see. So just like that, huh? the deal is off. It wasn't up to me. I, it was a board decision. I can only influence them so much. You're unbelievable, you know that? Yes, I was a little clumsy and a bit on edge today. Sure, I spilled some coffee on you and probably ruined your thousand dollar executive suit. And just like that, I, not only my future is gone, but all of my employees, their families. I don't know what to tell you, Mara. You need to understand this isn't my fault. Don't see, don't you see that the fu oh, fuck. Don't you see that this is the future of energy? This could help the planet. Of course you don't care about that. All you care about is margins, profits, and the bottom line. Excuse me? You have no idea what you're talking about. Our board of directors votes on all major investments, and it's always a majority vote on these things. Without a majority vote, there's nothing I can do as VP. Oh right, the board of directors. Don't use your greedy brain trust as an excuse what why invest in animal when your so-called board of directors can spend the money to buy some more yachts do not use that tone about my company this company was founded by the on the principle that we invest in technologies that will bring good to the world and you know that and when it comes right down to it people say uh, people pay for products not the environment we run a business not a charity 
You don't need to lecture me. We've got the same run around from every other investor. I was an idiot to think Aris was any different. I have sacrificed so much trying to build a sustainable world. I gave up my home. I gave up my family. I moved halfway across the globe just to find people and resources to make this happen. My team is filled with talented people working 100 hours weeks out of pure passion to create a better future and all this time you were just stringing us along stringing me along excuse me i'm really sorry but i'm going to have to ask you to keep the volume of your conversation down you're disturbing our other guests yeah sorry about that yeah sorry about that. <laughs> thank you so much and it's okay we get lovers pets in here all the time i know you told me that you guys had a bad breakup don't worry uh, don't worry, ma'am. I'm sure with time he'll be able to forgive you. You told her what? No, no, she misunderstood me. What I meant was, oh man, oh, okay, screw you. <laughs> so no mini nano volt presentation. Not again. I really messed up this time. Alright. Two hours ago? Still? Alright. Well. Chapter 10. That's it for chapter 9, guys. Alright, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Jesus, things aren't going well. <laughs> Jesus, things are just not going well for Rindon and, and Mara, and that's understandable. But at the same time, what the hell? Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time. I'll see you later.